Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with another Fully Wen pen review. Now, this is yet another Fully Wen pen from Chinese Pen, which is Bobby Pen's eBay store on Etsy. So if you go onto Etsy and search for Chinese Pen in stores, you'll find him. Um, all sorts of stuff on there. And I just happened to come across one or two of these Fully Wen pens, which I really, really like the look of because they are different. Fully Wen do produce some interesting designs. They are different, different materials, different designs to all of the other Chinese manufacturers. So I'm quite pleased with that. It's, it's showing a little bit more innovation or design at least. So what is this? This is the Fully Wen 2037. This comes with a medium steel nib. And this is, it's hard to describe, it's basically a brown pen. And it is incredibly attractive. There is an awful lot of shimmer and chatoyancy in this pen. Really, really good quality. I mean, this looks very much the part. I mean, there are vintage pens which have this level of um, depth and chatoyancy to the celluloid uh, material that they're made out of. This is an acrylic, it's not celluloid, um, but this definitely rivals them, and it is a fraction of the price. So, let's have a look at the pen. Well, I mean, obviously, let's admire the material. I mean, this is gorgeous, really, really gorgeous material i mean there's swirls in it there's depth i mean the chatoyancy has depth i mean it really is quite spectacular really really lovely pen very very nice material so what have we got on the pen well first off let's have a look at the shape of it strange shape sort of it's quite a slim pen, flares out a bit on the barrel and then tapers down towards the uh, finial there. But then this cap sort of has this slight elongated hourglass shape and it is really attractive. It's got a flat, slightly rounded metal top. I don't even know, would that balance? Ooh, just, just about. <laughs> it, it balances, uh, but it rocks around a bit. There we go, novelty pen. So, flattish top, there is a band where the clip is attached. Now the clip is this sort of strange spoon shaped thing, and the spoon holds this pearl, I'm assuming it's a false pearl. Um, I don't know about the durability of that, I can see that pinging off and disappearing somewhere. <laughs> Um, I'm not about to test it, but I suspect that that is probably not going to last uh, in that little spoon-shaped receptacle for very long if you're pulling this and out of a uh, pocket on your jeans or something. Cap band. Yep, which has 2037, and I'm guessing that says fully when on there. Yes, it does. So fully when... 2037 metal finial down there. Pop cap. Is it? No. Is it? Yeah, it is. I forgot. This one is incredibly tough to get off. So that is very, very secure. Now we have got a cap liner in there, which is good. Metal section. Smooth, slick, shiny metal section. That's going to put some people off. I know it will. Um, they can be slippery. Steel nib, medium steel nib. Um, unscrew the barrel. And there is this cartridge converter. Well, no, sorry. Converter inside. It will take standard international cartridges. Um, converter is cheap. It's cheap, it's nasty. But it does the job. It works okay. So, no massive complaints there how does the pen fit in the hand well actually it fits really really nicely 
It's a slimish pen. It's slightly um, less girthy than many um, many pens, but it's not totally slim. It's not uh, it's not too narrow, and it's a good length. Fits well in the hand. Posts, sort of, not very deeply, not very securely. No, not for me. Another section. This is what you need to know about. Have a look at this. So, we've got a very short metal section. It's smooth, it's slippery, and there is this ring encircling the middle of the section, which I have absolutely no idea why they've designed it that way, because when you hold it, your fingers sit right, your fingertips sit right on top of it, and you can feel it. And it is the most uncomfortable place to put. I mean, it, if this section is incredibly short at the best of times. You want to hold it so far down towards the nib, um, it's not practical. So you move your fingers up, and there's this damn, I don't know, ring on the section. It's not raised a lot. I mean, I'm trying to get this to focus. I mean, it's not raised that much above the section, but it's... It, 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 you know when you get people that don't like steps up? This is like a step up in the middle, twice, <laughs> of the section. In fact, the step up from the section to the barrel doesn't feel as uncomfortable as the middle ring on this section. It's awful, and the section's small. So I find that what I am actually doing is avoiding touching this ring on the middle and I'm actually trying to squeeze my fingers onto what's left of the section above it which is only about a centimetre long and hold it there and I'm having to grip quite tightly because it's, it's just in a weird place so I'm avoiding getting that ring anywhere near my fingertips because it's just uncomfortable and weird it, 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 it feels weird it's like getting a stone in your shoe um, so I'm avoiding that, and thankfully the step up from the section to the barrel isn't as bad, it's not as uncomfortable. So I'm ending up holding the pen, <coughs> excuse me, much higher than I would do normally, because the set, this ring is in the way. Um, and I'm holding it where the step up is. Fortunately, it's not that uncomfortable, but I am having to exert a little bit more pressure, <coughs> excuse me, to hold the pen more comfortably. And it is... It's damned annoying, because this is a really interesting looking pen. It's an unusual design, and the colour of this material, this acrylic, is absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning looking pen. And they've, lumped, <laughs> they've stuck this awful section into the pen with this ridged ring. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it, it's right in the way. I mean, I, <laughs> it's, it's the pen's downfall. Would I recommend this pen? <sighs> Wait until the end. Let's show you the writing sample, because the writing sample is quite an interesting one. So this is the fully one. Two, zero, three, seven, medium nib. Brown Fox. Oh, oh sod it. Quick Brown Fox. Excuse my awful handwriting. So I'm using a brown ink in this pen. Had to really. I mean, it's such a nice brown colour. It really is a ni nice brown. If you're after a brown pen, this is a nice material. This is definitely a brown pen. Um, and this nib is really, really nice. I'd say it's a little bit on the fine side for a medium. It's decently wet. I'll give it that. And it lays down ink really well. Now this ink, I had to use a brown ink, 
This isn't a super saturated ink, this is a diamine ink. Diamine burnt sienna. I do prefer the darker brown inks, um, but this is, it's a nice colour, it's unusual, it's like a sort of pale reddish brown. Let's do some reverse writing for those of you who want to see that. Definitely goes more towards an extra fine. And it... It's all right, it keeps up, but it is a little bit scratchy. I'm not saying it's terrible, but it is, you know, it's, it's not the smoothest. Flip it around the other way, there we go. Right, so. What do you think? I like it. I think that this nib is good. The pen, it's unusual. I really, really love the material. Um, the section lets it down, and I know that that was, it, it will be a huge deal breaker for so many people. They'd have been better off putting a triangular grip section into this pen and dividing everybody on it, rather than put something which nobody's going to like. I mean, it, it, it's, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, hang on, let's pop that pen there, right. So, fully when, 2037, does it get a thumbs up from me? Yes, it actually does. I like the pen so much, um, I'm actually willing to put up with the awful ridge ring thing on the section. Um, I suspect that they've actually put that in as some sort of grip so that your fingers don't slide down the section. But in actual fact, it's made the section uncomfortable to hold. So if that is going to bother you, imagine a, st a, st a step up in the worst possible place on a pen. This pen has it. So it's going to be a big deal breaker for you, I think. Um, I've given it a thumbs up, but quite honestly, I can imagine so many people saying, well, I'll try it and then hating it. So <clears throat> I'll give it a thumbs up, but I don't recommend it, which is a weird contradiction. Uh, but you're just going to have to j draw your own conclusions on that. So, it's difficult difficult to say. It's, it's going to be a real love it or hate it. If you love the design, and I mean, it writes really, really well, really well. Um, and it's an interesting, very unusual design. And the material is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So if you can put up with that, put up with the ring on the section, which I shall show you again, and the stupidly tight cap. If you think you can handle that ring around the middle of that section there, then yes. I mean, look at it, it's a gorgeous looking pen. Um, then go for it. It's worth it, but if you've got any doubts about it, about the section, then you're going to find this an annoying, uncomfortable pen to use. It's certainly not one that I would use for long writing samples, <coughs> writing sessions, because it's, it's just too uncomfortable. So I'll leave you to draw your own conclusions from that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye.